This is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 102. In this episode, I will show you 20 new features in 9 different Google Apps. So without further ado, let's jump in. Before starting, let me remind you that if you like any of the wallpapers I use in my videos, they are part of the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app that you will find its Google Play Store download link in the description below. And now let's get back to Google Apps. Let's start with Gemini and here I'm gonna show you six new changes. The most notable change is the redesigned Gemini overlay and this is how it looks. It's much more compact. It has the same glowing animation. Once you start talking, the Gemini live button will disappear and you will only see the mic with the animation. Here you have the plus button to attach a photo using the camera or pick one from your gallery. Once you finish talking, you can send the words to Gemini. And if you want to access Gemini live, you can tap on it right away from here. The in-app text box also got updated with this new pill shape design. The plus button here gives you two more options to attach files and from your Google Drive. Here you have the microphone button and Gemini Live with much more space for the text. Change number three, if you have anything on the screen other than your home, you will see this new shortcut says ask about screen, which will automatically take a screenshot and add it to the command prompt. In other cases, like a YouTube video, for example, when you trigger Gemini, you have ask about video and this what will happen. Another cool feature is the multi extension support. So for example, you can ask Gemini to do something that requires multiple extensions at once. So let me show you a couple of examples. Create a list with the top attractions in Dubai and add it to my notes. So as you see here, it created the list and it's saved to my notes. And when I go to keep notes, I can immediately see it. And here it has the Gemini tag to let me know that it's created with Gemini. Create a list with the top rated restaurants nearby and send it to my US number via message. So as you see here, it created the list and the message is ready to be sent right away. Google also added a new Gemini model to the list called 2.0 Experimental Advanced. Under the extensions page, you will see a couple of new changes. The first one is the categorization. Here you have productivity, communication, and so on, with filters at the top to immediately jump to the relevant category. Plus, it will show you an example command prompt on how to use each extension. Last but not least, Google started to roll out the Google Home extension to all users, not only the ones in public preview, like in my case. Now let's talk about the Google app, and here I'm gonna show you two new changes. The first change is related to the in-app browser. So for example, when you open any article from Google Discover, you will see this bar at the bottom. It will give you the option to bookmark, search in Google app, or you can share the link from here. Circle to search also got a really cool feature. For example, if you are playing a YouTube video and you like the background music, you can trigger circle to search and then tap the music search button. It will identify the song playing in whatever you are watching on your phone's screen and show you the results right away. Now let's talk about Google Chrome and here I'm gonna show you four new changes. The first change is under the tab switcher. Now you have a dedicated one for the groups that will show them in a list view. It will also show you the creation date and here you have ellipses to open or delete the group entirely. The second change is under the grid view page. If you have a group, you will see this new ellipsis that will give you three options, either to close, rename, or ungroup the tabs. But if you take a look at the previous version, all you can do here is to close the group, but nothing else. The third change in this area, when you open the group like this and then tap on the ellipses, you will see a redesigned menu with more outlined icons on the left. Moving to the desktop version of Google Chrome, now you have the ability to add much more shortcuts to the toolbar. To access the new feature, you need to click on the ellipses at the top right corner, then it choose more tools and then customize Chrome. Here you will find a new menu item called toolbar. When you click on it, it will give you a lot of things to add over here using these toggles next to each one. Now let's talk about Google Photos and here I'm gonna show you three new changes. The first change is the new processing animation when you take a photo in Gcam. So for example, when I take this shot and then open it, you will see that the processing 
is taking place here at the bottom with a magic wand icon on the left instead of showing here at the bottom left corner and if you are not using the high resolution mode it will only say processing instead of processing high res photo the second change is something i already showed you on ios but now it made its way to android the memory tab is now gone and you will find it under the collections page when you scroll down a bit you will see something called moments with this new slideshow animation to play some of the photos but when you go inside it's exactly the same thing as the memory tab. last but not least when you edit a photo and then go to the magic editor when you use the reimagine feature the text box will now use dynamic theming and change its color based on your device colors now let's talk about the apps that only got one new change starting with the pixel watch app in the main page now you will see a brand new menu item called watch bands tapping on it will take you right away to the google store to look for more bands for your pixel watch the google home app got dynamic theming so based on your device colors the accent colors will change so let me do a quick change to show you the difference so as you see the colors are now different if you have a pixel 9 when you take a screenshot and then tap on the bubble it will take you to the screenshots app instead of google markup but if you still want to go to the markup app you need to tap on the edit button at the top right corner in files by google when you play a video and then swipe up on the left side it will allow you to adjust the brightness in my previous episode i showed you how you can adjust the volume by swiping up on the screen but now you have two gestures one for the volume and the other one for the brightness and it doesn't impact the phone brightness once you go out of the app it will get back to normal and lastly the youtube music widgets previews in the widget speaker got updated with these new album arts and styles so that's pretty much it for today these are all the new features i wanted to show you in google apps and if you spotted anything new please reach me out on social media to include in my future episodes but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video